Okay guys, I've finally got my build together and I've just taken it out and flown it. A um, couple of things have changed since the last time you saw this. Um, I have mounted it on 3M foam tape um, to try and remove some vibration. And I've also added in the smallest soft mounts I could find. I did track down some M2 soft mounts um, from RC timer. Um, but they're still in the post, but when I get those I'll add them on because the amount of soft mounting I've done has added a, a little bit of weight to uh, the build. It did start off at 128, um, running this heavily reinforced antenna, which has got about five layers of, um, of shrink wrap around it. I'm up to 132 now, so I've gained four grams by messing around. Um, anyway, what I did is... Um, I replaced the screws with 5mm ones which I got from eBay from Bolt Base, I believe the company was from. Um, I've added in the VTXR3 um, and an XM Plus receiver. Um, I added in the soft mounting um, and when I test flew it again it completely got rid of my hot mortars. They came down absolutely cold um, so, so that was absolutely fine. As you can see it's had a little bit of a bashing. Um, the props that I'm running on here are Rolter X props um, and they're really good props but if you sneeze on them they basically splinter and crack um, and I didn't even notice this when I was flying, I didn't actually crash but as you can see even landing in soft grass I've taken chunks off it which when you see the uh, the flight footage the, the bit of vibration that you see towards the um, towards the end of the video is obviously caused by um, by this but here are my thoughts Wow, this thing is seriously, seriously quick, like razor quick. Um, I'll show you this flight footage, but the thing that the flight footage won't communicate is how alive it feels in your hands. This quad has had no tuning. All I did is lifted some pids from my 4-inch quads, dialed them down a little bit, um, dropped the D down to about 19 um, and flew it. Um, and the flight footage you're going to see is on a really, really windy day. Um, I was sat down in the video and the reason why is I was getting blown around when I was stood up. Um, it was really, really gusty. So the fact that this little guy coped with it um, is pretty, pretty impressive. Um, not a lot to say really. I'm going to replace these props with the new Rotor X ones. The 3044T I think they're called, which are a lot more durable. Um, we're really struggling in the UK for 3 inch props. Um, in, if you lived in the US, you'd be probably running the Luminaire ones, um, or I think it's Militia Brothers, um, which which do really well. But all I can say from these this this build, these motors are incredibly incredibly fast. The one problem I had is I ran this on 850 um, 854s batteries, and I started off with my heavily used. Um, Turnergy Nanotech and they were ripped apart um, within two and a half minutes. Um, I then stuck the action camera on and the, the action camera footage was using um, so I think Turnergy Graphene 850 4S 65C and a Tattoo 850 4S 75C and basically it didn't matter what batteries I put on this, this thing can eat your batteries alive. Um, so I'd almost recommend going to a thousand uh, more battery just to give yourself some flight time because I was I was getting flight times of two two and a half minutes, albeit that I was having a lot of fun. Um, so just to end this, I've run this. This is this thing is a razor razor fast. Um, I used my normal rates and it felt like I was running rates twice as fast. It just spin and shot every which way but always remained really controllable so it is absolutely immense um, yeah the only thing I don't like on this frame and I will point this out is I wish there was a hole here to um, run your VTX antenna through this um, VTX I actually shredded my first one because it got caught in the props hence the heavily reinforced um, antenna I just wish there was a little hole there and then you could run the antenna straight up and out of the way of the props but other than that um, it was a pretty easy build once I got the, the, the soft mount in it so anyway I'll show you the flight footage um, 
carrying an action camera towards the end of it so the first part you'll see is the DVR and then you'll see um, the HD footage carrying an action camera um, so yeah I'm absolutely blown away um, I think this is possibly faster than my 4 inch quad and on a tight course in the right hands of which I'm not I'm an awful pilot in the right hands this would absolutely muller a 5 inch quad on the twisty stuff not in a straight line but on the twisty stuff it will leave it for dust the, the speed at which this trip changes direction is absolutely incredible anyway guys cheers thanks bye